So I'm in the car with my uncle and auntie as well as my siblings next to me and basically we're going to my grandma's tombstone uh, which is quite special because it's the first time me and my siblings have ever gone to visit her there since she passed. It was really gloomy and then it started pouring so that was a bit worrying but luckily it cleared up by the time we got to the rest stop or a hugues hall as we call it. Basically it's just these places that you stop along the way when you're going long distance and you can just like have some food at the food court go bathroom you know rest <laughs> like I'm sure no, we all know what they are but um, the big ones in Korea some of them are set up so nice and oh my gosh this udon it was like 8 a.m it hit the spot it's also like tradition to get a walnut bread it cannot look more disgusting on camera right now but I swear it's so good and you can also shop for like little knickknacks and stuff here as well it was also the moment where I found out that my sister didn't know what a gua sha was shocking a gua sha. Grandma's tombstone was out in the countryside and it was country siding like these are the vibes and oh oh my goodness somebody please save me from the dragonflies in Korea they're beautiful but they're the size of my hand and I just don't think that's okay oh that's my auntie um, and I don't want to be that person but everything is just giving very much studio Ghibli um, it was just a really nice change up from being in the city and yeah so peaceful and then I saw this random rolling apple, which I thought was kind of funny. But uh, basically, yeah, I did get a little bit emotional. I was sad that I didn't get to spend much time with my grandma living in, you know, two different countries. And yeah, she was just a really amazing woman. Did so, so much good with her life. And the very few memories that I have with her, I'll cherish for the rest of my life. Whew. We then had a very traditional Korean lunch and then a family meeting, which I've never been to on, so that was also kind of crazy. After that, we all split up and we headed towards Busan with my eldest uncle. Um, but first, we made a pit stop at Jinju. My uncle wanted to show us the Jinju fortress, which is very cool, very peaceful. And it's just always so cool to see how well they've preserved these like structures. Like they're literally so old, but you can still like, I don't know, you can still see like all the architecture and like all the fancy patterns and stuff. And it just looks really majestic and not to be the person again, but you can get some really great pics. It was very hot. I honestly did feel like I was melting a little bit, but you know, as long as my makeup isn't melting, that's like top priority. And then I was revived by the smoked tea. Doesn't look here at all. morning we went to the Kamton Bunamal. I was really excited about this place because I saw all the pictures on Instagram looked amazing and they also had this one hour walking course so we went through there and the first thing that we did was immediately get cold drinks because we would not have been able to keep our stamina up without them oh and like look at this mat something about it just looks very cinematic to me which is why I had to film it but anyways so on the way up you'll not only see these seven familiar faces absolutely everywhere but you can also catch pretty glimpses of the colorful buildings and you'll also see these cute little souvenir and accessory shops as well as cafes and some street food along the way as well oh that's me 
but yeah we took our time sort of like you know shopping and stuff like that and it was just a really relaxing healing time i really regret not getting the totoro fabric poster though why? We continued along and then BAM! Saw this very large Jungkook Jimin like mural basically. You best believe I got my pics here. Just so many things to look at on the way up. They really went the extra mile to make absolutely everything adorable. There was also another photo zone so we actually had to wait in a line for this one. I was wondering what these were. I thought they were fridge magnets at first and then I realized they were for Crocs. Almost makes me want to get a pair. <laughs> Almost. But look at this. Honestly, they remind me of the colorful buildings in Spain. <laughs> the history of this place is also quite interesting. It was kind of like a low economic sort of area, which is why you have like all these very steep steps that lead to very like, you know, low ground areas. But then someone had the idea to paint everything colorful, make it all look cute to become a tourist attraction. And I'm guessing these houses are worth a lot more now. My auntie told me I was posing by bathroom, so that's me rushing away. After lunch, we went to a cafe. We went to this amazing cafe called Aethera that my uncle recommended. Truly the best tour guide. Like, look at the views and this is only the terrace. Can I just mention how convenient it is that there are mirrors everywhere in Korea. My sister saw me taking selfies so I got her to join. So this is the downstairs area. I was not expecting it to be so like bright, airy and spacious. And with that ocean view especially, it really felt like a proper summer holiday. Like all the sun vibes. All those pastries look so good as well. We just got a chocolate croissant for me and my sister to share, as well as some cold drinks. Uh, it's a public holiday called Wanuzo, which is like Korean, Korean Independence Day. Is it Wanuzo? Yeah. So it's a public holiday called Kwangbukjo. <laughs> uh, so there is a lot of people. Um, let me show you. And there's actually not a lot of people on this side of the beach. The weather is really good after all that rain. So. The check. Wow, you can actually see the sand on the side. Oh.
had to lie down in my outside clothes, but five more minutes. Has it really only been a day? It felt like a week. The next day, we just headed straight for the train station in the morning. I am going to miss this view a lot. Although yesterday was jam-packed, I feel like the time that we actually spent here was so short, so I definitely want to come back someday. So this is us just getting back on the train to Seoul, the reverse train to Busan, if you will. <laughs> um, I never actually saw that movie, I don't like horror movies. My uncle said something that made me a little bit emotional on the car ride here, so that's why my eyes are all puffy, I was crying, still kind of crying, and then I saw this on the screen and it was just so random that it just made the tears stop immediately. The seats that we had were surprisingly quite spacious and they also gave us free water, which was nice. The views outside were unreal, I just wanted a simple cool aesthetic shot of me sipping on my banana milk, but it wasn't really working out for me, I did not get my shot, um, but you know what, maybe next time. hours later we finally arrived at the very vibey Seoul station and that is the end of my Busan vlog. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more parts coming soon. It only gets better from here.